Uh, we prayed and prayed up at the church. But when Ed Scudder came back down here and listened, he got answers back. Oh god, I think I know. Answers? Ed explained it to a few folks and they didn't believe it. But he was persuasive. He had the glimmer. The glimmer? Like the smolder? Once it takes a shining to, it rubs off on you. You can do things. I never seen it. But they said Ed could break through walls. Okay. After Ed talked us into all this, after that first time, we picked one out. Well, not only was the town holding stable, but it was almost like we were getting younger and money came too. Still, a few of us left from back then. Picked? First one was Tom Turner, who believed, he, who believe you me, was a bastard, just pure trash. We got him down here, and in the hole he went. Then next week, flowers blooming all over the hills. You throw them in the hole. It is a murder cult. They're feeding him. He's hungry like you wouldn't believe. Every few months or so, he starts singing, and it's someone's turn to find someone. Is that what you were doing the other night? No. What happened the other night was a shame. One of our number broke the rules and had to pay up. That was a hard thing to do. I think I'm going to be sick. We never pick no one who's going to be missed. That's a solid rule. Drifters, drunks, and delinquents. You've been... Oh, God. Oh, no. How many people have died down here? <gasps> Oh no, that wouldn't have been a question. Casey? The Hartley kid? All he was gonna contribute to society. Except a bunch of kids growing up with no dad. It was a rap sheet a mile long. Before whatever sad end he'd wind up at. We did him a favor. You killed Casey? Oh my god. We don't use that word. You know he was taking up business with his cousin, right? You know what happened to his cousin? Burned alive when his little trailer lab exploded. They had to wear hazmat suits when they cleaned him up. That's where Casey was headed. You killed Casey! And you want to act like we didn't do him and this whole town a favor? Oh god, Casey's been down here the whole time. His parents put up posters. Maybe they should have cared more about him before it came to this. Which one of you did it? Greg. He was my friend. Alright now, throw it down or I will shoot. Heh <laughs> heh. What if I get you first? Bolt sticking right out of your eye. Bang. Bang. You brought guns down here? Dangerous this far out in the woods at night. Basic safety. I throw it down, son. Don't make this our time. Greg. Dang it. You're monsters. None of this. None of this is happening. Oh god. We're not monsters. We do it because we love our home. As long as we keep doing this, Possum Spring survives. Things can get better. Did May just throw herself into the pit? These mines are going to be humming again someday. Oh no, it's just her spiraling downwards. Uh, old mills puff and smoke. You kids don't understand that. We lost what our world was built around. Used to be you provided for a family, bought a house. Now you're stocking shelves at the grocery store. Kids leaving more than they're staying. No opportunity here. Old people dying, houses left empty. You ever see that? A home become a tumbled in place of wood and plaster? A job become a burnt out brick box or a hole in the ground. But we can change that. We can put this place back together. There's much more rational ways to do that. Where it won't be just shapes. I'm going to die down here. May? Why are you telling us all this? Because we're getting old, and even with the fringe benefits of good health, we need new blood to carry this on when we're gone. Really? You're like pitching us on this? 
Were any of you even miners back in the day? Any of you hurting now, financially like? Or is this just some big costume party murder club for someone's shitty boss who's afraid of dying? That don't matter. Snort. It does. This is real bad. This is insane. Why should we help you? Why should we help you? Because if no one is here to do this, you remember that flood a few years back? You remember the blizzard of 2010? That's what happens. And beyond that, the jobs never come back. The kids never come back. Everything crumbles. Possum, spling Possum Springs bleeds to death. And soon we'll all be dead. And this town will just be fields and trees. I've seen it. In the dream, we saw it. I know you have. I'll understand if you need some time to think it over. So we can leave. No one's gonna stop you. But understand that you don't know who we are out there. But we know who you all are. Ain't fair, they'll probably leave and I probably got permanent damage. Shut it, Ede. You don't know about a thing about what he wants, what he is. Ede, I swear to God. Let's go. Yeah, let's seriously get out of here. Son, you leave that crossbow. What? Why? Well, I could bullshit you, but the truth is I just don't trust you. Fine, whatever. It's a piece of shit anyway. <laughs> I can't move, you guys. I'll carry you. Oh. Okay. My brain's in pieces right now. It's all just empty. Everything's empty. What are we going to do? Uh, we'll crack that one when we're far away from here. I don't know if I... Shh. Talk later. Old, old stuff in here. So that well that we went to in that dream, was that supposed to be that pit? I'm gonna have to put you down now for a second, okay? Okay. Oh dear, is this where something happens? So Casey... Yeah. I... Yeah. And for what? I think I get it. Wow, really? Too tired to explain it right, but like... They lost what they thought was gonna happen. Okay. Which was what happened like a long time ago, or how they remember or like picture it. And things it gave them. And so Casey and that kid at Harfest and... Sorry, I lost it. It's more sense than I can make of it. They're sad. It's all really sad. You ready to go again, Angus? Yep, sorry. Wait, everybody shut up. What? Shh, I thought I... <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Kick him! Kick him! Kick him! Kick him! Kick him! Kick him in the face! <gasps> oh! How did he get up there? How did he get up there? The, the, the elevator was up! Or was he in the elevator the whole time and we just didn't see him? Holy God. Is everyone okay? May? May? May, say something. <laughs> oh God, she's, they've snapped. Why are we laughing? Huh. <laughs> oh. Dude, it's okay now. If we messed we mess that guy up and he's not coming back. You're gonna walk out of this. So how are we getting out of here? Shh, let May rest. Oh god. Does anyone have a light? I feel air coming in from somewhere. So we're not gonna suffocate. Okay, well that's a relief. How do you... I was a scout, Greg. I was a scout. Hey, Angus? Yeah? I love you. Aww. Welcome back, May. You okay? Better now that I almost got murdered. Again. Which is... weird. Uh, that was like the third time in two days? Third time's a charm. Guys, the air's coming from back here. Alright, I'm up. You sure? Yeah, I think I can walk at least. It's boarded- it's boarded up a long time ago. 
Can we get through? Let's find out. Let's get out of here. Ugh. Can I? Can I? Ugh. So I've got a. Oh, all right. And down. Teamwork. Yep, that's some fresh air, all right. Sniff, sniff. And water. Dude, that's amazing. The poisonous water? I hope not. How can you smell water? Hopefully it's not a river. Cave rivers are death traps. Mine river. We're in a mine. Right. Can I go back here? That guy got his arm cut off by the elevator. Or at least it looked like an arm. Hmm. I can see the bottom. I don't think we're gonna die in one foot of water. Right. Is this it? Alright, are we gonna go? May. <gasps> oh god. May. I know what you are now. I think I knew before, but... You know... After I sent that kid to the hospital years ago, they said I had an anger problem. But that's not true. I was angry because of something else. Something I'd lost. Trying so hard since not to be angry got me all defenseless. And I lost more and more and more. That's not getting better. I want to be angry. When I ran home from college, on the bus I had this dream. Or maybe I saw it out the window. Last leaf on the tree, finally blown off. I'm so scared, all the time. And the fear hurts, feeling like everything is over. Was over long before I got here. So long hiding, or trying to outrun this. I get it, this won't stop until I die. But when I die, I want it to hurt. When my friends leave, when I have to let go, when this entire town is wiped off the map, I want it to hurt bad. I want to lose. I want to get beaten up. I want to hold on until I'm thrown off and everything ends. And you know what? Until that happens, I want to hope again and I want it to hurt because that means it meant something. It means that I am something at least. Oh, I think I'm... Oh, okay. I didn't know what I was looking at. That's it. That's the hole in the center of everything. <laughs> Pretty amazing to be something at least. Oh. Hello. You know I can't understand you, right? Oh, shut up already. I know this won't save me in the end, but I don't need it to save me forever. I just need it to save me now. So if you're gonna kill me right here, then do it. If not... May? Dude, you okay? Whoa. You got all sleepwalky there for a second. You want me to carry you? No, I think I'm good. I'm just... Very, very tired. Hang here for a bit if you need to. We're safe. Uh-huh. There's a light over here. Guys? Do you smell that? I bet he did. Oh. Oh. Smell the light. I get it. Hello? Oh, it's a well? What is this? This might be a vent or something. Kept the miners from suffocating way back when. Looks old enough, at least. Brochure. Hello. We're down here. Oh. Don't ask us why, please. Go get lucky and someone's out here in the woods at night. I can try to make it out. No, I can, like... Okay, yeah. Are you up for this? Uh, yeah. I don't know. I'm like all hyper now. Like dolphins. Hyper like dolphins? No, like when your body is like, Oh, whoa, I almost died. And you get all hyper because you're filled with dolphins. <laughs> I know what she's saying. <laughs> I'm seriously confused. Are you okay, May? Endorphins. She's trying to say endorphins. Ah, okay. There, thank you, those. Okay, well... Ride those dolphins up out of here. Ugh, that's assuming I can even do this. We'll watch. Okay. Am I putting my jumping ability to use? Yep! We're doing this. It's all been leading up to this. It looks like it. It looks like the friggin' that scene in the Goonies when they're all at the bottom of the wishing well. Oh. Is this a- uh, uh, There we go.
And if it is a well, then that... There it is! It was right! The well in my dream! After Harvest. This place. Huh. Hey, May. Germ! Germ? Yeah. What are you doing out here? I live right up the hill. I heard Greg yelling. We were all stuck down there. You were at the bottom of the old well in my backyard? It's been a really bad night. Sounds like it. Got any rope or something? Yeah. Can you go get it? <laughs> hey, May. Yeah? Was that Germ? Yeah, he's getting some rope. What is he doing out here? He lives here. In the woods? <sighs> My entire body hurts. That was a long way. I brought some sodas. You're the best, Germ. You need sugar and caffeine. Germ, you are the best. Uh, anyone else want to get far away from this well? Yep. Germ, can you, like, I don't know, seal up this well? Hmm. Am I in control? I got dynamite. Germ, you are the best. What? Yeah, I mean, I can get some. How big an explosion is that? I mean, not small? Okay, that works. Thanks, Germ. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Um, okay. Bye, guys. There goes a weird, weird guy. He saved our lives. Germ's a good guy. Germ's a good man. Germ's good people. It strikes me that we just murdered all of those dudes down there. How do you figure? Well, I mean, the elevator's broken. We caused a cave-in. That was self-defense. I guess, but we did cause the death of like a dozen guys. No, no, no. They're all still alive down there. Oh, God. Yeah. Jeez. Well, well, we're blameless. They attacked us. One of them attacked us. So we're worrying about, like... It's morally gray. We're not murderers. Like, if we'd a choice, we wouldn't have done it. I would have. <laughs> Angus, I love you. <laughs> uh, what? They, like, killed people. They were trying to get us to kill people. Screw them. I don't even believe in hell, and I hope they go straight there. Jeez, Angus. Well, that's what I think, at least. Hmm, this is like that trolley thing. What trolley thing? Okay, I'll explain it if we keep walking. That psychology question of... Why is... Okay. Why did it linger on that wide shot for too long? Hey, guys. Um, are you there? Anyone? Okay, I'm gonna type anyway. Hard for me to say anything smart about what the hell even just happened. Easier for me to get it all out there. And I need to talk, even if you jerks are off doing whatever. I don't even understand life. I think you get taught that you have a lot more control of the world than you do. I just walked into this horrible stuff that was already happening. We all did, and I guess that's really scary? Like, who knows what's gonna happen. But I guess you can, like, connect things, or connect two things. Sometimes you need someone to be the thing you don't have, even if it's something you're supposed to already have. All of you are what kept me from floating off tonight. Also, you kind of killed that guy to save me. Uh, don't think I didn't appreciate that, lol. Oh, is this Beatrice's house? We haven't been here. Am I ever going to have a handle on just what just happened? I kind of hope not. I just hope it's not- it's over. I want us all to get free of it. I don't want us to be part of some horrible story. I want to, like, grow giant and pick you all up and carry you someplace safe. Sorry I'm all rambling now. I just gotta believe there's ways to escape. Or at least move on. Germ? Germ, buddy. Germ, you don't even use Messenger. I guess I'm just typing at you wherever you are. In the parking lot. I think I pretty much love Greg more than anyone ever. I don't know if better friends exist. We're like old shoes that go together. I'm sorry I caused drama between you and Angus, man. 
Angus, I give you Greg as a gift. Remember to water and feed him. <laughs> if you ever hurt him, I will kick your ass into the ground. He was mine first. Yep, there it is. Now, I'm just gonna erase all of that. Oh, shit. <laughs> Guys, I was just kidding about a lot of that. I'm really tired. I don't know what I'm saying. Log off, May. Log off. Is this the next day or the end? Changing of the seasons. So. Alright. May, are you gonna actually wake up? You've got your actual waking up animation now. So. I'm just gonna check first. Born to lose, country trash, proud, drummer, skate and create, skate, skate and destroy, skate to create, bound for glory. Oh, Casey. Hey, May. You okay this morning? I'm not opening the pickaxe today. Greg informs me we're doing band practice, though. I'll see you there. Hey, man. Nice messages last night. I mean, like, really. You massive dork. Lol. Band practice today. Because I feel like we need to do something normal. I'm at the Snalkin. Hope you're feeling okay. Sincerely, Gregory. Away message. It's good to be alive this morning, that's all. Chatterbox. Weather service. Snow forecast. Snow in the forecast. Are you ready for what's coming your way? <laughs> Sharkle. Sharkle. Thank you. Thank you for always being there for me, Sharkle. Now I'm going to check the journal, because I'm sure a lot of shit has updated in the journal. Oh. Okay. All just shapes. All just shapes. Uh, Angus is psychic. Let's see if anything has changed. Yeah, that's clearly supposed to be a miner's helmet. I get it now. Uh, Lori M. Snake. Thinking died tonight. Uh, mysterious tooth. Everything feels bad. Everything seems to be right in order. Alright. Let's go. Epilogue. Stars. Oh. So it is the end. Okay. God. It's us. It's just us. Home and us. I don't know what this feeling is, but I'm not gonna cry today. Aww. Hey, Granddad's clock. Hey, Granddad. Aww. I'm gonna go see if anything's in the crawl space, just to see. Just to see if there's been changes. Nothing. Hmm. I wonder if the cult of the black goat? I wonder if that has anything to do with the tooth cult. Bird? We're gonna eat you th for Thanksgiving, bird. I should like reread some of these. I mean, I got time and the cozy months are coming. Shapes from the on the veil of space. Okay, yeah, let's go with that one. Let's see what the back of the book says. Released in 1937. Shapes from the On the Veil of Space is a towering achievement and marks the start of the weird gothic genre. An influence on much of 20th and 21st century horror, science fiction, and pulp literature. Shapes is sure to make you question just how far away the night sky is from you at this moment. Cool. Wow. That's- that's topical. That fits. May, honey, is that you? Yeah. I'm back in the kitchen if you want to talk. Mom! Holy shit! We murdered some guys! Hey, sweetie. Hey, Mom. How are you feeling? Uh, good enough to jump up here. Can you do me a favor and stay home tonight? Sure, Mom. Why? It's been... I just... You're an adult. And you can do whatever you want. But you do live here. And you are still my baby. Aww. We need to come up with some ground rules. Just because... Honey, you could have died the other night. And then you just left to hang out with your friends? I... I... I'm so sorry, Mom. Sweetie, what's going on with you? 
I've had a really tough year, Mom. Um, I've had a really tough year, Mom. Hon, you've had a tough week. We all have. Yeah, but... What happened at school, hon? I don't care what it is, just please tell me. Mate! Tell someone! Tell someone what actually happened! Please! Are you working today? No, me and your father are both off today. I'll be around tonight. Can we talk about it then? Sure. We can make breakfast for dinner like we used to. Dad can flip pancakes in the air. Haha, <laughs> sure. Are you going out today? Yeah. Can you please stay in, cl in town? Close? Yeah, Mom. I think they're getting some of the longest night's decorations out. Oh, wow. Uh, calling for some snow, too. That went fast. What did? The fall. It always does, hon. Okay. Well, I'm off. I love you, sweetie. I love you, too, Mom. Oh, can we talk some more? What are you reading? Are you still reading the same book? Oh, no, this is a different one. This one's about people who died in the mines around here. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's very interesting. It's got some old songs. Want to hear one? Uh, sure. Uh, far from here, the ocean's roaring. Far across the din. I hear the Lord call their children. Bringing in, bringing in. Uh, I see you walking through the barley. We'll find each other, friend and kin. I hear the Lord call their children. Bring them in, bring them in. Oh god, this is a long one. Tarry me for a moment. Talk the places we have been. The Lord will call us both to heaven. Bring them in, bring them in. That was nice. It is. It is nice. It was nice. Is that it? Uh, <laughs> okay. So I guess that's it. That's all we're getting now. All right. All right. Time to go out. Um, uh, let's see what's to the right of Possum Springs. Why not? If it's still open. Dad. Hi, Dad. Hey, Dad. No work today? I told Bob to shove it. Really? No. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Uh, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I hate my job. Aw, oh, Dad, why? I've mined, I've made glass, I've done a heap of other stuff. But this place, they just don't respect you for working. They don't? Job's supposed to pay you enough to live. Job's supposed to let you provide for your family. Job's supposed to have regular hours. Boss is supposed to respect you. Worker's supposed to be able to talk. Worker's supposed to be able to have a life. Worker is supposed to be able to live. Your mom always had to work, but I wanted to give you and her your time. Uh, wanted her to have hobbies, hobbies, and enough time and money to do them. That's what made me happy. Now I just work so I can he keep our health insurance and hold on to the house. Try to, at least. Is there anything you can do? I mean, we do need a union. It's just easier to say it than get it done. Unions were always there in the mines and the factory, at least for a while, but here... I got something for you. I got it out of the basement. How'd you get in the basement? Door in the crawl space. That's spooky. So what I got is a tooth. A what? Do you know what this tooth is? No. Really? You sure? Yeah. Granddad must have had it from the old days. May, thank you. Wow, looks bright and new. Like they just pulled it out of his skull yesterday. So I wonder what would have happened if I didn't read that, um... If I didn't read that newspaper article in the library. Uh, you show that to your boss and tell him to eat shit. May. Sorry. I'll just keep it with me. Sure thing. May. Yeah? Uh, you come down and pick it with us if we walk out? I will breathe fire, Dad. Love you, kitten. Be back later, Dad. The tooth! I'm glad that the tooth found its... Its end. Um... What are you doing out here, by the way? Getting an early, early start on our longest night plans. Got to dig them out of the closet. See if they even work still. Can I help pull them up? We'll see. You're a small fry, Dad. dum de dum dum de dum Alright. Excuse me. I had to burp throughout that entire exchange, but I didn't want to burp. There we go. There we go. There we go. I'm gonna fucking kill myself. <laughs> dudes. The dudes? The mural in the tunnel. Oh, I did that. <gasps> Wet child! 
Also, I just realized there's graffiti that says Greg rules okay under you. Did you do that too?